Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is a video uh, to show you how to create your own uh, deck for playing the game. As a, a new player, you you have a beginning card set, a beginner card set uh, from your teacher or uh, from the system. Of course, the card set will be uh, increasing uh, because this is an educational reward game. So you will get uh, new cards from time to time. Though if you uh, have done a good job in uh, doing homework uh, or uh, you have a good performance uh, in the exam or any any else learning activities. But uh, you still need a deck, at least one deck to play the game. So from this uh, from this user interface, you can see here is an empty drop drop down list, which is your deck. Uh, I let me switch to another user. So uh, this one is not good. Let me show you. Here is Myga. So Myga has three deck. You can create a. Um, as many deck as you want, uh, because uh, deck is just a concept, which means uh, a set of cards. So you can create uh, as many decks you want to uh, have a different combination of cards. Uh, uh, so you can have a different uh, strategy. For example, here in my God's decks, uh, the normal deck is an, uh, a deck uh, contains the normal card set. And the must win uh, deck, uh, which I created the must win deck with uh, a lot of high level cards, which uh, might help me win the most of the game. And the beginner uh, card deck, I put the uh, two or three star cards, uh, which is uh, similar to other students. So I will not get the advantage because I'm the, the, the game developer. So uh, that is my, my card. Of course, you can have your uh, several decks. One is uh, for for attacking, major attacking. And uh, the other card deck is major for defending or another deck is uh, uh, to take the advantage of magic cards, something like that. So it depends on your strategy. You can create as many deck as you want. So let's let's create a deck. Okay, here is demo. You, when you click on modified, you will see how many cards you have and uh, uh, how many cards in, you you have in one deck. And currently, we don't have any deck, so uh, here is zero, and uh, we don't have a deck name. We need to input the deck name before we save that. When you click on the uh, card, you will see. Uh, the cards, the information. For example, Mr. Jerry. Mr. Jerry is a two-star card. Two-star card is a, a very normal uh, beginner's level, entry level's card. And uh, as you can see, its size. The size S means small. X means uh, sorry. L means large, and M means median, and uh, XL means extra large. So size does matter. Um, you will need the avatar cards to fight for you. However, when avatar cards die, uh, you will uh, you will lose your life point. You will lose your health uh, point. So, uh, small smaller cards dies uh, will make you lose a smaller uh, amount of life point. For example, small Mr. Jerry. If Mr. Jerry dies, uh, you will have you will lose one life point, one health. And if a median card dies, you will lose two life point. If you if you you have a large card dies, you will lose three, and uh, extra large makes you lose four. Um, that is the the rule. And uh, each, but uh, of course, the, the uh, different size of avatar has different power. Mainly, uh, larger avatar cards has a uh, uh, higher defending and attacking power, and has more life points. That is uh, 
that is uh, uh, your strategy you need to have find the balance between using a card and uh, if and uh, of course uh, take the responsibility when they die uh, five means attacking power three means defending power eight means a uh, health point uh, of this this card and one means range so uh, five that is very easy understanding um, when you attack someone you use five to attack them if they are not at a defending position they will their HP their health point will be deducted by your five by your attacking power however if the 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 card is at a defending position. For example, Mr. Jerry is at a defending position. So when when others attacked him, um, actually uh, the attacking power of the 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 enemy will be uh, blocked by your defending power. So for example, if uh, your opponent also has a Mr. Jerry. Um, and with the fire attacking power and uh, your op opponent as a Mr. Jury, he's a Mr. Jury to attack your Mr. Jury, but uh, your Mr. Jury is at a defending po position. In that case, your Mr. Jury will, will uh, be hit by only two because uh, your opponent's uh, Mr. Jerry has a fire attacking power, but uh, you are un under uh, defending position, which means you have three defending power. Five minus three means two. So uh, at um, after the attack, uh, your Mr. Jerry will still have uh, six health points. It's, it seems sounds uh, uh, easy or confused to you. Okay, anyway, that's his basic idea. Range means one, means you can attack anything in front of you. However, if there is anything between you and your target, then uh, you cannot attack them. Okay, so that is the first kind of uh, card we have, that is avatar card. The second kind of cards is magic card. So let me let's let me show you freeze, freezing. Um, Katana. Freezer Katana is a sword that is a magic card. When you see M here, that is a magic card. So Freezer Katana is a three star card and uh, uh, this card can be applied to any avatar card. Uh, four means four turns how, how long this magic card can take effect. So uh, once you equip, equip the uh, freezing katana to to your Mr. Jerry. Mr. Jerry will gain uh, three attacking power for four turns. That is uh, very easy to understand, right? Uh, we have the third kind of um, card called trap card. Um, so basically, when you attacking someone, when you attacking uh, your op opponent's avatar cards, or when you use your magic card, um, or uh, okay, that is the first two two case. When you do these two things, your opponent can use his trap card to to react your actions. So when you attacking him. He can use his uh, trap card to uh, to do something, okay. Or when you use your magic card to uh, equip your Mr. Jerry, or if you you use your magic card to uh, to do something to your opponent's uh, avatar card, your opponent can use his trap card to react your action, okay. But of course, when your opponent use his trap card to react your actions, you can also use your trap card to react his trap, uh, his his actions about using his trap card. So that is a, a some kind of a chain effect. Hope you can understand. So any trap card has a T here. And as you can see, the duration is zero, which means after you use this uh, trap card, the trap, the trap card is gone and the effect is gone. 
So this travel car is disable enemy's travel car. So when people use their travel car, you can use you this tra travel travel card to uh, disable his travel card. Wow, that uh, sounds uh, very, very weird, but uh, okay, that is truth. Okay, but remember, you need to put your travel card on the table first before you can use that. When you put your travel card on the table, actually, uh, other players cannot see what you put uh, on the table because the face is, uh, is uh, facing down. Okay, now I create my uh, deck. So you can create uh, your deck very easily. I, I create my deck just by rendering. Okay, so each deck can only have 30 cards. So I put 30 cards here and I put a new name, basic deck here. And then I save it. So the save deck finish. After that, I can leave or I can new another deck. So as I said, it depends on you. You can you can have um, as many decks as you, 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 you want. Uh, eventually, when you play the game, you can only use one deck, one of the decks you created. So now you can see I have a basic deck here and now I'm ready for the battle. Okay, I will talk about how to create the combat room later in the other video. Okay, that's it.